Freewell have come up with a game changer. No, that's not right. Freewell have come up with the perfect sol no. Freewell have made a bloody good card reader. Let's talk about it. It is a card reader to end all card readers. It does do quite a bit. And it's compatible with many cards, CF cards, SD cards, micro SD cards, and more. It holds them in the case as well. And on the side here is where you would plug them in to the device that you're going to read the cards from. And when we talk about devices, it's compatible with Windows machines, Mac, a later OS versions of uh, Mac. I've had it plugged in to my iPhone and transfer data between the two. It works really well. I'm quite impressed with how that works. There's a couple of things that uh, aren't that flash about it, but we'll talk about that in a second. It is rock hard. The case here is aluminium. The inside here is like an ABS type of plastic. On the top here, it's got a carrying loop and it did have a, uh, a little carabiner that went onto there. I just took it off because it just rattled around a little bit, but it would be ideal to clip onto your belt and stuff. But you push on the, the two little uh, levers at the end there, push on those, the whole thing comes out and it holds all your cards there. Now, those of you who know I've got a second channel, it's a four wheel driving and camping channel, you know that uh, I'm out there re doing, doing those videos and editing them in the field as well. And these little, the, the small SD cards, the micro SDs, I would usually use a little, um, a, a larger SD card holder and put the, the small one into there. And I'll tell you what, changing these out in the bush to drop a little SD card and trying to find it again is virtually impossible. So this is coming quite handy in that regard. You transfer data from the card reader with this USB-C cable right here, which is actually the first thing I would say is a problem. This thing is just too damn small, but it's kind of a compromise, I guess, between the way it packs up into this case for ease of use, if you like, and nice and compact sort of storage. But that, um, coming out of your laptop and coming out of your desktop, it, it's gotta be right up there close to it. So for those people who don't use a laptop, this is sitting on your desk all the time. You can't hide it behind other things on your desk when you're not using it, when it's still plugged in. The data transfer from this is up to 10 gigabits. It is very quick, I can tell you that right now. Uh, because it's USB-C, like I said before, it goes onto the iPhones and Android phones and you can do the data swapping between there. It does come with uh, a little adapter, which I don't use, um, to go from the USB-C to USB-A, so you can transfer data that way if you so desire. Looking over what's actually in this, it'll hold all the cards that you wish to take with you. So it's got six slots there for um, micro SD cards, two more there for regular SD cards. There's another SD card holder on the side here. And next to that there, you've got your two CF cards for the different types of S, uh, CF cards. And also here is a couple of slots for the um, SIM cards. And it's even got a SIM pin right there that comes with it that you can use to change your SIM out. I've been using this now for probably about a month and a half and it, and it has worked just fine once I worked out that SIM card situation. There's two things that I don't like about it. One is that that cable is just not quite long enough. I think that could be longer. And the second thing is this LED light that's here. There is an LED light there, just there. And it's kind of confusing. Most SD things when they're reading will flash. This light is on constantly. And it's, a, even when there's nothing plugged into it, it's just on constantly. And then you plug an SD card into it and it flashes and you're kind of going, well, is it, is it transferring data or isn't it? I'm not sure. I end up having to use the device that I'm connected to to work out if it is still transferring or not. So that can be a little bit confusing, but overall this thing for the size that it is, yeah, it's pretty bloody good. This is for anyone who is using uh, SD cards of any type in any camera of any type. It's going to read it nice and fast. Transfer speed is up there with the best. Um, those two little things, if you can get over those, I re highly recommend this thing. It's about $99 and uh, I'll give you a link to a, a discount code, but I don't get one. Uh, link is in the description. That's it for today. Catch you later.